Cheryls, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome! My name is Shirley and thanks for choosing to watch my videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to make new content more frequently. No promises on like specific dates yet. Um, but that's in large part because I'm studying for the LSAT and so that kind of has to be my priority right now. Uh, but today I get to take a little break from studying and this morning I'm going to pick flowers with my mom and my sister. I'm so excited. Like, um, if you know me or you've watched any of my videos and if you haven't, please watch them. I love flowers. I love plants. Like, it is my... Hobby, it's something that I've liked for a long time, but like during quarantine, it has just really blossomed. And so I'm so excited. Um, the farm is actually like adjacent to the farm that I work on um, with Reality Ministries, where I'm a fellow for the year. So I've definitely been to, like, I've seen the flower farm before. It's right by the other farm um, that the fellows and I, like, were just harvesting okra on. Uh, yesterday and so I'm just so so excited um, to go there and get to show my mom not only the flower farm but like the chickens and if the horses are out like I can show her that and also the farm that I get to work on because she grew up on a farm so I think that she's gonna like it a lot um, so I'm gonna do that in the morning and then uh, later on I'm going to go to I think we're gonna go to rise for breakfast um, after we pick flowers and then I think that we're going to go grocery shopping and I've tried to be like super intentional lately about where I'm buying my groceries um, and just trying to buy local, trying to buy black and so there is a black owned local, um, it's like, it's called a fruit stand or like a farm stand but it's like it's a lot more than that. It's really big um, and it's called Perkins Orchard and they have a lot of different um, produce options there so I think I'm going to go there instead of the farmer's market just because they didn't have just like in my opinion a little bit of a more variety like wide variety um, of produce options so we're going to go there and get some groceries and then I'm going to come back home and study. I already have my book cracked open right here um, so I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do today so I'll see y'all then Okay, so good morning, you guys. We have made it to the farm. Um, so I'm gonna drop in the description below the link to this farm because it's absolutely gorgeous and I think it's close to the end of the season. Um, so I'm not sure how much longer they'll be like open for picking, uh, but let me just show you guys really quickly what it looks like. So here's like their two flower beds. And this one is like the back one. There's this like really beautiful barn right there and has all these flowers. I'm gonna walk you around. And then there's this front one. Um, so yeah, I'm getting two buckets. And look at how beautiful these are, like y'all. Oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful. It's early in the morning, it's just, it's really, a mood um, but yeah so I'm about to pick some flowers with my mom and my sister and then I think that we're going to go to the um, like the farmers market or something like that after this
What's up, y'all? So I'm back home with Mama Garrett. Say hey to the vlog, Mom. Hi. She's got her coffee. Um, but we are about to arrange the flowers. And so these are the flowers that we have right here. So I'm basically just trying to split them up like as many ways as I can. I have no particular idea, but I'm really excited to see what we're about to do. I think they look so cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you have any ideas about how to... I do not. I'm just waiting to see one of your mini creations here. Well, <laughs> say no more. Okay, so the first thing that I did was take them all out of this bucket, which had a little bit of water in it for like transporting them home. And I just separate, separated them all out by what kind of flower they were. So these are where all of like the wild flower type flowers are. Um, this one has all of the white dahlias and this one has all of the zinnias. Y'all, I might be butchering these names if I am, comment below um, and correct me these have all I have no idea what these are these little like ball flowers they're cute though um, these and they dry super well this one has this <laughs> I don't know what that is and there's a lone sunflower um, so we'll figure out what to do with him but yeah so now I'm about to kind of figure out where everything should go and make some bouquets
these are the final products. So the first one is this like purple wildflower and dahlia bouquet, which is super pretty. And then this one, my intention was white and pink, but it just got a little, I'm trying to hold it for y'all. Um, and then there's this one, which kind of just reminds me of fall. Nice little mason jar bouquet. Orange and white is what I was going for. And then lastly, my mom just wanted these in a vase. She really likes them, so that's what is right here. So we are about to go to, oh gosh, that was so loud. So we're about to head to the farmer's market right now, um, or to, to Rise Biscuits and Donuts to get some biscuits for breakfast, and then we are going to go to um, like a farm stand to grab some produce. So I will see y'all then. All right, y'all, sorry, the lighting's kind of bad, but um, we just got from Rise Biscuits and Donuts. Oh, these, this food looks so good. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's a blueberry. Sorry, oh, this is so weird, but I'm about to eat it, so. But we're about to eat our breakfast and then go to the veggie fruit stand thing. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited. All right, so we made it here, and I was hoping that they would have the pumpkins out, but they actually don't have them yet because it's not quite um, time yet. So probably in a couple of weeks, but I'll let you guys see. There we are. And I'll get some more footage while we're in there, but we're just gonna go get some produce. Um, then I'll show you what I got. Hey y'all. So I uh, made it back home and I just hung out with my roommate for a little bit and just like talked to her, caught her up on like what we did yesterday and she's gonna be like out of town for the next like couple of days and so um, I am here alone now and I'm about to unpack my groceries. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Put, put my groceries away, whatever you call it. Um, and then I'm gonna study for a bit. Um, and I forgot the flowers that I took this morning, so I have to go back to my house tomorrow, which I was gonna do anyway, um, because I need to wash my car. Uh, but yeah, so I have to go back home and pick up the flowers from earlier. But I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Uh, so let me do that really quickly. Okay. So, sorry, it's just gonna be like cut off, but. So there's this, first of all, let me tell you, so there's this place called Perkins Orchard, um, and it's like, I don't know, 15 minutes away from where I am. I've been trying to be like super intentional about what I'm buying with my money, like where I'm spending my money, and obviously like I'm not going to be perfect, I'm not saying that I always like spend it well, but I've just been trying to be more intentional with the things that I buy, and knowing like where that money goes, and who I'm supporting with my money, <clears throat> and so... I, first of all, it's black owned, which is really awesome, and secondly, I uh, really value, like, locally grown produce, and so, like, it's both of those things, so I'm really going to try to start buying from there rather than going to grocery stores, and they also have this really, really awesome deal, so $20, basically, like, you fill up a bag with as much produ produce as you want. There are, like, a couple of things that are excluded, but most things are included, and so I got that, um, and I, I did the calculations, and it's definitely cheaper than how much all of these things would cost if I got them from the grocery store, so that's awesome, plus on top of that, you get one free item just so like that you know that you're not being shortchanged. So, um, I'm gonna show you what I got today. Sorry, some of the things fall out. All of these things I fit into the bag. Like you can stuff the bag as full as you possibly can, which is what I do. <laughs> Um, so first I got this cabbage. I have some vegetable broth and I've had it in there for a really long time and I was wondering what to do with it and so I think I'm going to make some cabbage for myself. And then I got a peach. It just looked really good. Um, so I got that. And then I got a mango. I got three bananas. I feel like Mary Poppins right now. I'm like, look at all these things that I'm pulling out of my bag. But anyway, uh, this huge carrot. A potato, 
a crown of broccoli. What do you call this? A head of broccoli? No. Anyway, some broccoli. I got some broccoli. Um, a whole bunch of little potatoes. Ooh. Oh my goodness. But like all these little potatoes and there's more. It's just that my potatoes. And then... Oh, my mom, I think she intentionally left this, but it's some type of plum, I think. I don't know. And then a Vidalia onion. And here's the bag, just to show you. you you're supposed to put everything into this bag. And then, okay, so normally for the free item, you can choose between, like, a melon and a watermelon, or, like, a melon. This time it was melon and a pineapple. I just, like, don't know how to cut pineapples well. I could definitely look it up and figure it out, but melons are easier for me. So I got a cantaloupe, I think. I'm hoping that's what this is. Um, and then they had a deal today This was super awesome. Um, there was some complimentary cilantro, which I always need. Like, I literally always need cilantro because I'm always making some type of salsa or some salad that I think cilantro would go really well with. And then free mint, too. So... All of the salad that I think cilantro would go really well with. And then free mint too. So, all of this, $20, I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, so, all of these, this was 20 bucks, which is like such a good deal. Um, especially considering sometimes I go to the store and I will pay like 3 or $4 for one mango. So yeah, I was just super excited about my purchase today and shopping locally. So... I'm going to put these all away and then I'm going to study for probably two hours, take a break, and then study for two more hours. It's a good step. <laughs> y'all so I just decided to take a break from studying I had so much fun today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little weekend adventures um thanks you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon good night